a lot of the former Amish are still defending the Amish. Why? Well, the reason why is because a lot of them that have left the Amish, but the Amish hasn't necessarily left them. I'm, I'm running into quite a bit of those. Um, I just heard from several former Amish. One of them was pretty harsh, and he was saying, hey, uh, I got this degree and that degree, and went on and on about his credentials. That was the first red flag, because God is not looking for credentials or Bible college. Uh, those things are all beneficial. They can be used. But when somebody starts out with prideful bragging like that, that's the first red flag because God wants me to be taught and led by the Holy Spirit of God. Uh, so this person went on to say that I should never be exposing the Amish on YouTube, that the sin does not need to be exposed because God's people need to be protected. And I'm thinking, God's people? They're following man, commandments of men, tradition. God's people follow the Bible. God's people love one another. God's people apply the Bible without commandments of men and tradition and religion. So what really was funny about it is he was, he was trying to tell me that I don't qualify to preach. <laughs> it just cracked me up, guys. It, this stuff is so... There's so many people that have been spiritually wrecked, spiritually and mentally deranged and abused that when they get out of situations, they will still have those same things that they hang on to, not realizing it. That's why we need the Bible to set us free and, and make it our final authority. And uh, <laughs> this person goes on to say that I need to stop exposing the evil, the bad, the, the crimes and sins that are in the Amish and let the Amish handle it. Well, last time I checked, that's why the Amish are getting by with all of this stuff. Because nobody ever made any awareness and ever exposed them. God hates evil. God hates incest that is going on in my Amish community right now. God hates a bestiality, animal, acts on animals. All of that is happening. But we're just supposed to say, shh, don't talk about it. Don't call the law. He, he said I should never be calling law enforcement and exposing the Amish. Well, hello, that's a crime in itself. <laughs> I mean, some of these people just don't get it right here. And uh, so it... By the way, that, that motivates me even more to continue getting on here, uh, to share what is going on. I knew I was going to get backlash uh, as a former Amish to even expose the Amish uh, because a lot of people hate it. I not only expose the evil crimes, the incest, and all the sins, but I also expose their religious hypocrisy because they really do have man-made theology. They don't follow the Bible. They don't make the, the Word of God their final authority. So... All of you that are former Amish that, that just want to leave them alone, good, good for you. you. You can leave them alone. Just don't worry about exposing them. That's fine. But God called me to expose them. And I'm going to continue reading the Bible and using Scripture. I don't do it on my own. I use Scripture to expose them. I use Scripture to say, hey, that's wrong. See, if, if nobody says anything and everybody just leaves it be, that's how they always got by with it. So if you're comfortable where you're at, great. I'm comfortable where I'm at, and I'm going to continue exposing them. By, by the way, your message actually inspired me more to continue doing what I'm doing even more. Because when you're doing something right, that's when you get attacked. Love you anyway. God bless you.